You're very welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time on the channel, do not forget to <laughs> like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell. And if you're back with us again, thanks. So you lovely people, come through into the comments to let us know about more videos to check out. So what are we checking out this week, Danielle? So today we're going to be checking out a weird new infrastructure that's being built that a lot of people have a lot of opinions on and we're going to give you ours. So this is Saudi Arabia's controversial mega city project and this is called The Lion. So we're out for our deal, let's jump straight into this for <laughs> ourselves and you guys, let's go! Countless governments and companies have taken a stab at building a city of the future. There's Songdo in South Korea, the Alphabet-funded Keyside project in Toronto, which Toronto. was abandoned in May of last year, and both Singapore and Barcelona have tried to modernize with smart sensors. In January of 2021, Saudi Arabia announced plans for its own futuristic city called The Line. Instead of communities sprawling outward from a central location, they would be built vertically and arranged, well, in a line, hence the name. Even though the vision for the city stretches 170 kilometers, it would do away with cars entirely and instead be connected by high-speed rail that would travel the entire length in just 20 minutes. That sounds minutes. awful. And each know. individual community would be largely self-contained so that almost anything you could need, be it a school, a doctor, or a quick meal, would be only a five-minute walk away. The government says the line will run on 100% clean energy and make extensive use of sensors and AI to manage the city's services. And all of this is supposed to be nestled in the pristine natural landscape of the Tabuk province with minimal impact on the environment. <laughs> Now the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has revealed grandiose renders of what the city will look like to match the grandiose plans. The line is envisioned as a giant glass and mirrored wall 170 kilometers long, 200 meters wide, and 500 meters tall. That's taller than the Empire State Building. It would have greenery stretching along the top, an open-air ventilation system to help maintain an ideal climate year-round, and it would house up to 9 million people. Forget about the rest of now, the Now, the line <laughs> yeah. is one part of Saudi Arabia's controversial $500 billion neo megacity project. For one, the so called virgin land that the government is building Neom on is, unsurprisingly, not all that virgin. It is the ancestral and current home of many people, including members of the Hawatat tribe, who are being forced from their homes for what many see as a vanity project that won't amount to much. In America reality. would never. Those who have dared to speak out against the government's plans or refuse to give up their homes have been harassed and abducted by Saudi security uh, or arrested or, in some cases, killed. For example, Abdul Rahim Al Hawati, a prominent Hawatat activist, was killed by police in April of 2020 after posting videos on social media trying to raise awareness of the forced displacement. All of this controversy has even led to some commercial partners pulling out of deals like Riot Games, which had signed on Neom to sponsor the League of Legends European Championship. Backlash from the gaming community caused that to quickly unravel. Now, even if Neom is eventually built and lives up to its lofty promises, there will still be plenty of more cause for concern. The line is expected to be loaded with countless sensors, cameras, and facial recognition technology Seriously? that, in such a confined space, could push government surveillance to almost unthinkable levels. Now, that would be troubling in any nation, but in a country like Saudi Arabia, where homosexuality is outlawed, LGBTQ people are persecuted, and women hold almost no rights, it's downright terrifying. Yeah. So, first off, a very big shout out to the original content creator. Do make sure you check them out, give them a like, subscribe, and share and all that good YouTube stuff. In theory, the city looks nice, it's very easy on the eyes. Yes, it's lovely. Very nice for a sci-fi movie. In mm. reality... It's not realistic for us all. No. It's not actually helpful because you're just confining people into a space. How is that going to work? And So they're saying... That's, first of all, we'll just take all the controversy away from it and we'll just talk about the city on its own. Yeah, let's Because the controversy is a whole seat. other situation. We'll just talk about... The city, because yeah. it is, fortunately, like this out there as well, 
there is even drone footage of it at the minute. It is being dug up at the minute, so it is actually happening. Yeah. So we'll just talk about that at the minute. So it says it's to help be carbon neutral and help with the earth and all that. That's fine. Nine million people. So how many of them cities actually need to be built, first of all? A lot. Is the construction carbon neutral though? Is the construction carbon neutral? All the wires and stuff that's needed for the the AI robots that's watching everybody. That takes up a lot of stuff. Yeah. Some stuff. The trains. No, but I mean you need all the electrical boxes and the electrical grids and stuff like that. They're not carbon neutral and they can't be. So how much pollution is going to come from the likes of cranes, trucks to drive there, yeah. cement mixers, you have people on site, you don't know who is being flown in and flown out yeah. on jets, how much carbon footprint are we racking up with that? Of the horrible... The doctor's equipment, the things for the schools, the furniture for the people's houses, that all needs to come in from somewhere and where is that coming from? Yep. It's not going to be sustainable. It all has to be flown in. Everything yes. has to be flown in. The workers to even build the city itself. Where's it all coming from? Yeah. Like, we've no guarantee. That's clean energy. That's green. Like, you you know, you could be getting flown in from anywhere. The best architects in the world could be coming down to this. They could be getting flown from everywhere in the world. What, what type of carbon footprint are we getting from that? When we're talking green and renewable and all that, what, what's being renewable and what clean energy is being used on construction? Yeah. Yeah, when the city's built, it's going to have... If there's a promise from a government of green energy and renewable energy, a well, promise... It's fully green. It's, not, it's never going to be fully green and fully renewable. Now what all this stuff, all the, the technical stuff they need to have it in there, all the robots and everything that they want there, it, that can't be guaranteed to be renewable energy 100% of the time. Yeah, but they're promising it. I think it's just unrealistic because another way to look at it is, say if people... You know, there's a lot of people out there that think this is going to be such an amazing idea. In theory, yeah, it is, but in practice, maybe not. Well, say you move in there. Are you allowed to leave? Can you go on holiday? Are you allowed to go out to the, the airports? Or how do you get from there to anywhere else in the world if you're not allowed to use cars? Because I did say there was going to be no cars there. So how are you getting there? And it's only a train from A to B and that's it. So how can you actually leave? And what type of class society is it? That's the other thing we're yeah. not hearing. There's a lot to be questioned here yeah. about it. Is it going to be, you know, people that can't afford too much down the bottom at the sewers? Yeah. And everyone that can't afford it up the top in big, nice, fancy apartments? Or is it going to be everybody gets the same amount no matter how much you have? These are only questions we're asking. We're not trying to be controversial. So we're asking the questions. And we want you guys to ask questions in the comments yeah. with us. Tell us what you think. You know, have a back and forth down in the comments. T tell us what you think it is. Do you think it's going to be like this? Do you think it's a good idea? If you do think it's a good idea, that's fine too. This is just, we want to ask these questions and we're looking back and forth. But yeah. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think this is better for the future? Do you think it's worse for the future? Either way, let us know why. I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think it's going to be a good idea at all. The main thing is, I didn't realise that they were displacing so many people. Surely there could have been a better place to put them. The world is not that packed. Surely there is. There is definitely 100%. 100. What was it? 100 kilometres? Yeah. Of space that's just not touched by anyone. Surely they could have found something that they don't have to mail so many people out of homes. Yeah, and do that to the natives. Yeah. Let us know your thoughts down yeah. below. That has been our two cents, and we'll chop ourselves out of it. Sure.